What's up everybody? We're with Bryn Brown of Denton Geyer High School. She's her Texas Mile Split Invitational winner here at South Lakes Park. 16-12 today. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's crazy. How do you feel about that one today in the time? Um, it's kind of surreal. Um, I've been putting in the work this summer and I was expecting a pretty fast time out of the gate, but to already be at this point, this point in the season, it feels incredible. Still kind of in shock, haven't really processed it yet, but yeah, I'm really excited. What was your plan today? Did you go out a certain pace? Obviously, you went out a little fast in the first mile, but can you describe it? Um, I definitely got excited. It was kind of just go as hard as you can, get a really good 5K time in. I was really shooting for a fast time, so I got out a little too hard. I, got, I was really excited. It's home meet, a lot of energy. So, but yeah, nonetheless, it was really, really fun. 454. Yes, sir. <laughs> did you did you feel like you had to make up for it though? It felt like you were strong the whole way through, right? Um, not. Yeah, I felt pretty strong, surprisingly, for going out that hard. So. Yeah, it kind of it was an indicator too that was a true 5K too. So yeah, I'm really really excited with the time and just everything. I think the team did well too. So yeah, it's a good Last day. week you opened up at 17:17 and you said it was a little longer than a 5K. So maybe the time's a little deceiving. But yes. um, compared to last week to now, like how would you rate your first two races? Um, definitely. Like through the roof. I'm so excited. I'm really excited to see where the season goes. Um, I was really disappointed because when I crossed the line in over 17 minutes, I was kind of a little like, like suspicious because I had my watch and I was getting these splits and I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna run fast. And then I was like, where's the finish line? And then definitely I crossed it at 17, 17, 17 which isn't a bad time, but it was just a little disappointing because I knew I could go a little faster. But yeah, to get this time today is really special. You had a great track season, you had a great off season, you went to Nike Elite Camp, and now, you, wh where do you feel like in your, in your career right now, and in your, your season, like how do you feel about you moving forward and what you want to do? Um, I think after having a really just kind of disappointing end of my cross country season last year, um, I got back with Coach P and he was kind of hard on me. He was like, well, you can either just throw in the towel and feel sorry for yourself, or <laughs> you can get on, you can start getting back to work and really working hard. And I, I started tweaking the little things and just fine tuning and really just bought into what Coach P was telling me. And I just saw the improvements and improvements haven't really stopped. They might have, like, I kind of went like this and now it's a little more gradual, but yeah, I just kept improving and I hope to keep doing that, so. So a lot of people see you as having a great year this year, obviously. You got a lot left. McNeil next? Yes, sir. Right? And then what's what's the season look like after McNeil? Okay, so McNeil will be my last like pre postseason race and then I'll have district, region, state. And then instead of doing both this year, I'm just gonna go all in with Nike. So and really try to get a good effort and make sense. So what's what's the reason behind that mostly? Uh just because last year I was feeling a little trained. Um, just five races in a row. I don't think I was ready for that. And just this, my season started like mid-August last year, but this year I definitely just I want to go all in in Nike and just really see what I can do. Hopefully all right. I'm back. Well, guys, Bryn Brown here at Texas Mile Split Invitational. You'll see her again later toward the end of the season. Thanks for watching. Thank all you. Right. Thank you. Appreciate it.